Okay, so I'm sure you've heard by now about the incident with Gigi and all of that. And if you haven't, I will link Gigi's video down below so you can watch it for yourself. Um, but I thought that as a member of the transgender community, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like it's a huge issue and I've kind of just been like not talking about it as much for whatever reason. It honestly gets me so upset and I feel like I would rather just, you know, talk about lighthearted stuff and stuff that isn't as serious, but I realize like not talking about it just is like as worse. Staying silent on the issues are pretty much just as bad as the people who against the community and stuff like that. So Gigi was went to Dubai and allegedly they said that on her passport it had a male picture and it didn't match up or something along the lines of like her passport had a guy's picture even though she said in the video that she changed everything. I find that so stupid of the airport. I find that complete bullshit because I don't know how all of it works, but I'm pretty sure if Gigi's passport picture didn't match up to what she looks like now, she wouldn't be let out of the fucking country. I mean, that just seems like common sense. So I feel like they just bullshitted that. Like, I don't believe that her passport picture was like, her before transition. I don't know. I, that just doesn't add up. And then she even said in her video that that's not how it was. All I can say is stuff like this upsets me so much. And it's sad to think that like stuff like that can happen. We have a long way to go for the transgender community. Um, we have come a distance. It definitely is better than it used to be. But that doesn't mean that we still don't have a long way to go, honey. I mean, just think about it. The other month, like, people were in arms about trans people using the bathroom. Except, girl, I have been using the girls' restroom since 2013. Haven't had one issue until this year. And now, all of a sudden, it is, like, this huge dilemma thing where it needs to be talked about over the other problems that are going on in America. Girl, take a seat with that shit. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other story. It's crazy to think that, like, even in America, we're still way ahead of, like, places like this. And I also wanted to mention, a lot of people in the comment section of Gigi's video were saying, like, oh, it's the Muslims. Oh, always the Muslims. Get that shit out of here. It is not the Muslims or whatever. I mean... I've met some pretty fucking horrible people from all types of religions. I'm a fucking dumbass. Muslim is not a religion. I have no idea why I said that. So please disregard that. Thanks. It's not Muslims. And in fact, I some of the sweetest, kindest, most selfless people I've ever met have been Muslims. So knock it off with that shit. Seeing all the hate, like that doesn't make you any better. Like if you're for trans rights and stuff like that, LGBT rights, yet you're bashing on other people, that doesn't make you that much better than them, you know? And even also in the comments of that video, a lot of Muslims were showing their support for Gigi. So again, how can you say all Muslims are, you know, whatever? Like, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I just thought I'd throw that in and I'm not gonna say anything else about that because I know people are already leaving paragraphs of hate, girl. It's whatever. Um, but it's so sad to think that, like, me, Gigi, other trans people, I guess other gay people even, have to, f we can we'll never, <laughs> I'll never be able to see Dubai. Gigi will most likely never be able to see Dubai. Hopefully things change. I mean, I don't see things changing in Dubai. But I also was just thinking, like, what if she didn't have, like, people with her? What if Gigi didn't have people with her? And like, what if no one had stopped her at the airport and she had gone and like stepped foot on Dubai, like soil or whatever? That is so scary because she could have been murdered or something or 
you know, prison for years or a year or whatever the law is. I'm glad she at least got out of there and didn't, like, go to jail or anything. Because that would have been, girl, that would have been too much. I want to know how you guys feel about this, especially if you're in the LGBT community, how you feel about all this. The fact that, like, you, you basically don't even have basic rights in those in Dubai if you're trans. Yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, ignore the annoying people in the comment section because, um, yeah, there's going to be some people who are like, hmm. Faggots, not even welcome, you fucking faggots. Like, so fucking gross, kill yourselves. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you, bye.